Hi, I'm Adam Katz for BrunningDirect.com, the dog trainer marketing agency. Today I have a special guest with me who came all the way up from Las Vegas to here in the high desert in northern Nevada where I live, Reno, Nevada. Uh, Mr. Cameron Ford. Cameron is an expert at detection dog training and teaching people how to do detection nose work with their, their dog. And I, I, I wanted to share with you guys, I wanted to have Cameron talk a little bit about how those of you who have dog training businesses can supplement your income by offering detection dog stuff I, and I'm yeah. going to toss that over to Cameron. Yeah, one of the uh, biggest growing programs out there in the dog world is the sport of nose work or scent work. Uh, AKC, UKC, NACSW, all these organizations offer nose work uh, competitions. So. What you can do as a uh, dog business, or even as a person just with a with a pet, is do scent detection. Scent detection is a great enrichment aspect with your dog. Um, it helps with environmental aspects. It helps with dogs who are reactive or sensitive. In, in fact, how nose work came about was dealing with dogs that were reactive or sensitive. So. It's a very important thing to do. It's a very easy thing. Anybody with any breed of dog can do it. You just either set up games where you're hunting for food in the beginning, or you can progress all the way up to where you're competing and having fun traveling around the United States, doing competitions for the, either the nose work or the scent work programs that are out there. So absolutely, scent detection work is an amazing aspect that will help you and your dog have a better relationship and your dog be more enriched and enjoy what it does naturally, which is use its nose. Cool. So, what what kind of you know dollars and cents? What what kind of additional revenue can the average you know dog trainer who has a list of clients that they've done obedience training with can then reach out to people on their list and say, hey, we're doing this now. What kind of additional revenue is it possible for dog trainers to make offering something like this? Well, by having this kind of program, it's something that will continue all the time. So. You can offer, let's say, programs of scent detection um, in different levels. So there's always the entry level where you gotta start somewhere. This is an add-on where it's a few hundred bucks a month or for X amount of lessons, you charge this much money. So let's just say, go with let's say 200 bucks, which is a good round number and average to what's in the area uh, pretty much throughout the United States. So uh, you do various different offers so you can do programs or packages whatever you want to do and you have that add-on but it creates that connection with your client that they're going to continue doing training with you because there's always something to do you can even offer what's called sniff and goes so even if these people aren't your client but you have a great, great area to put out uh, a, a scent or scents for people to go train at you could offer that 20 bucks a person to show up and just run their dog one time because you have a cool or unique area to run their dogs on scent detection. So whether it be the client who will keep coming to you to progress their dog through the different scent detection levels or just doing a sniff and go for all those competitors that are already in your area to come to your unique spot to do a detection problem, that's the other way to do it. Cool. You know, for so many dog trainers, really just the the initial sale is is it. And a great way to add to your, your total amount of revenue is by having upsells. And I think this is really a good opportunity, really something you guys should look into because as you increase your lifetime customer value, meaning how much money you make per customer, um, your business does better, you make more money, your your cost per acquisition, cost to acquire a client, comes down percentage-wise, and it's just a, a, a good thing because, you know, it, it's great if you're making a thousand, two thousand, three thousand dollars from selling your clients a, a, a dog behavior program. But what then? You have these people, you have a relationship with them, and it's way easier to sell to somebody that you already have established a relationship and you've established your own authority than it is to just constantly try to, to get new clients. So as much as I'd love to you know, help you find new clients with Google Ads, because we run Google Ads for uh, anywhere between 50 to 60 different dog training businesses across America at any given time, and it works really well, by the way, you can learn more at brandingdirect.com. Always be pitching, that's your lesson for today. Always be pitching. But if you can add to the value of each client with what someone like Cameron Ford here is doing, uh, it, could, it could really help 
uh, just turbocharge your revenue. So Cameron, tell me, how can people get in touch with you and learn a little bit more and, and also tell them a little bit about your podcast? Yeah, so I run a podcast called Canines Talking Sense. It's a podcast dedicated to everything detection related. So it goes from your typical police military all the way down to sport, to conservation canine, to bed bug and so on. I also have my business, Ford Canine, and the website is FordK9.com, F-O-R-D-K number nine.com. Yeah. There you go, yeah. right there. and. I offer classes for those who want to learn to become scent detection trainers. So if you want to become a trainer or a handler in detection, you can go to our website, attend or uh, select one of the classes that best fits your need and come to Las Vegas. Or we are now even more mobile. I am going on the road and if there's five or more people, I'll come to your area and host a class there. And those classes usually one week or two week depending on the classes that you're looking for. Awesome. Hey, Cameron, thanks so much for Thank uh, you. for being a part of this. Also, uh, you know, if, you, if you're watching this on YouTube, if you're not a member already, we have a group on Facebook called the Dog Trainer Marketing Group, where you'll be amongst over 2,800 other professional dog trainers and growing every day, swapping tips and secrets and strategies and tactics on how to grow your dog training business. I'm Adam Cass with my friend Cameron Ford here. Yeah, have a great day, guys. Talk to you soon.